Um, and Brad, your accent in Snatch is so great that we can't even hear a word, we can't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, what was that, I, I've always wanted to ask you how you built that, how, where, where did that, where did that come that from? Was literally, that was a last minute, night before, full panic mode, gonna <laughs> screw up this guy's film. And um, I, I had gone to Guy Ritchie, to because I liked his first film, I said, let's do something. He said, yeah, I got something for you. And it was, it was this part, he kept, I kept trying to get the, the dialect, and, and I probably started a little too late. And uh, it, it, was, it was far too technical. You, you could understand. It was just too stiff. And the thing is, these guys are always, they're in bands and they're talking in codes. In fact, I went to meet a bunch of guys, this, in this gypsy crew, and they all introduced themselves as Billy Joel. <laughs> because they didn't want to give out the real name. Anyway, it's a little it's a secret of society, and, and this kind of hop, skip, the, language they had was to keep things, uh, much like Cockney, to keep things inside the circle and the circle only. And, but the problem is we're always trying to be understood and we're always trying to be true to the dialogue and, and, and the writer wants his dialogue out there and, and we, I love a lot of the dialogue. And so it's just not in the, in the, the thinking to go that way. And I really, um, but when I talked to people, they kept saying, well, you can't understand what they're saying anyways. You can't understand what they're saying. And I was in a panic, and I went to the director the day before, and I said, man, guy, you got to do this part. I can't do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to mess it up. And he's like, yeah, right. And so I, um, it occurred to me that night, somewhere I got, I got on what, what um, another great actor, Benicio Del Toro, had done Unusual Suspects. Hmm. And the genius of what he, what he did in that, that thing is he, he he threw out the lines. He was so committed to the guy that you didn't. There was a lot of times you couldn't understand what he was saying. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. You couldn't understand what he was saying, and it's a complete reversal in thinking. So I called Guy up and I said, "Do you mind if we don't understand any of your, your dialogue?" <laughs> <laughs> I think great. I got a way in. He said, "No, go with it." And I walked around this, you know, around London that night. I was on the North End, and I walked around for about an hour and a half. At, this is about midnight, and I got a, I'm being picked up in the morning, and it just kept getting more and more indecipherable. And, <laughs> and, and it, it, thank God, it worked. But it was it was it was a last minute panic. Wow. Wow. 